Welcome one and welcome all baby to America's channel, Orchids for Dummies. I'm Fal Pal Durrell. I'm outdoors in my orchid patio garden, honey. And I just want to show you my beautiful blooms. So stay tuned. <laughs> I picked up from Lowe's um, beautiful, beautiful orange Vanda. Get into it. Get into it. She um, produced a plethora of blooms. I'm super excited about it. Super, super excited. And still some buds to go. Um, she also has a kiki. This is an orchid achievement for me because it's also the first time I've got a Vanda to bloom um, bare root. Um, this little darling right here was purchased from Lowe's as well. Okay. Let me let you see the blooms. And then I will show you the name tags of these beautiful orchids that you can get from a big box store if you look hard enough. And as you can see, not a big thing of roots. This right here is the name. Okay. Heartthrob. Yes, it is. And this orange, beautiful Vanda. This is the name. Sunset. Yes, yes, yes. And um, this little darling right here is um, a twin of the orange one. She has orange blooms as well. You can see the spike. But this little darling right here is um, in competition for my favorite orchid competition. She has been in um, bloom all year. This is my Phalaenopsis Maria. The blooms that you are looking at are actually some of the re-blooms, okay? Um, right here, she has just stopped blooming on this spike, okay? And she had this beautiful bloom to face um, the window, so when I'm indoors, I can still see her beautiful blooms indoors. So cool. And um, she is now producing more buds, you know, I, I'm not sure, you know, what's going on with the um, buds. I don't know if bugs are eating them or whatnot, but she is still doing her best to stay in the competition. All of this right here is um, grown from that tip. All of this right here. And she is gradually growing and gradually pulling nutrients from this leaf that was already damaged. So she's being selective. So, Fal Pals, how can you get your Phalaenopsis to rebloom just like mine? Well, the main thing that I'm doing is giving it consistency and stability. Knowing that Mother Nature, she is always able to provide and um, give these orchids exactly what they want. Now, I'm in Alabama, which is a subtropical environment, very similar to Florida. So the humidity is really, really high. And the orchids, they really take, they really love it. They take to the high humidity. So growing your orchids outdoors in a safe environment, you know, check out the light. This is the light that is going down, okay? They are getting everything that they need, okay? So fertilizer did not have anything to really contribute. Growing your orchids outdoors, Mother Nature is going to provide consistency is going to be the key, okay? Making sure that you are keeping these orchids hydrated. So if you have any more questions about growing your orchids outdoors, leave those comments in the box below. And I hope that you have a happy growing. Until next time.